back to my channel. My name is Megan and I post DIY, sustainable living, and vegan recipes here on YouTube. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. I plan to start posting videos once a week, so hopefully you can follow along with all of my sustainable and stylish living tips. I'm so excited today because I'm going to start the facelift of my master bedroom. The master bedroom has been super white, super minimalist the entire time we've lived here. While this minimalist style certainly is relaxing and it's been um, great for us so far, I'm excited to spruce it up and make it a little bit more us. A few of the things that I want to do to update this master bedroom is definitely to paint the walls with a couple different shades of blue as well as accent colors like pink, yellow, all sort of in pastel -y kind of tones. And then I'm thinking some sort of hand painted wallpaper sort of design for the other walls. And like always, I really want to do this as sustainably as possible. So while I would love to replace this bed, um, it's just kind of boring and not that interesting. The best stuff is the stuff that you already have. So I really want to make this a little bit um, more interesting, particularly this headboard. So that's going to be a DIY project that I have in this video. This master bedroom is a little bit small and we have an entire wall of closets, which is amazing. But with a king size bed in here, the space is a little tight. So we have had to get a little creative in our bedside tables. This one over here isn't even a bedside table. It's a chair that fits in this tiny space. And that's definitely something I want to update in this facelift. I also definitely want to get some lamps for the side of our bed. I'm thinking some plug-in sconces might be a good solution here because then it won't take up any space on the end table, but we can still have the light by the side of the bed. I would also really like to add some more texture and a little bit more color in some of the accent pieces. So I think I'm going to move a um, really cool macrame wall hanging that I have to be above the bed once it's painted. I think it's going to look really nice and go with the color scheme that I'm working with. I would also like to get some sort of accent chair for the corner over by our closets. I also want to soften it up with a nice big rug in this area. I think that'll give it the illusion that it's a little bit bigger than it is. So I'm ready to get started on this project. The first thing that I'm going to do is paint and I'm just going to go ahead and tape off the walls. Most important part. I've got a couple of little holes in the wall that I need to um, spackle. So I'm just going to use like a little putty kind of thing um, and spread that on and close those up from some art that we had hanging there. Super easy to fix and you just paint right over it. So the taping is done and I'm ready to go with painting. I'm so excited to see this color on the wall. I think it's gonna look awesome. Oh yeah. So my first coat of paint on this wall is done and it is phenomenal. Like I absolutely am obsessed with it. Just so nice, very classic, very romantic, but also kind of moody and modern. This is the third um, Faro and Ball uh, paint that I've used in our house and again, absolutely crushed it. I've linked to it in the description below if you decide that you wanna use it yourself. Okay, so while my blue paint is drying, I'm going to do my little headboard project that I have. It should be really easy. I have this extra like tapestry fabric that I used for a different project and no longer need for that anymore. It's meant to be like a wall hanging or like a bedspread. And we did use it as that for a little while in our guest room as well as the tapestry on the wall. Um, and then we found other things and this, um, yeah, has no purpose now. So I think it'll look really nice as a headboard. I'm just going to, um, use a staple gun to attach this to the headboard. This is a fabric headboard from Ikea anyway. So I think I'm just going to staple it to the sides and back and try and get it as taut as possible. I already ironed this so that there's no wrinkles in it. And, um, yeah, here we go. I 
And just like that, I've got a new headboard. This project was free. I used materials I already have, and it took me 15 minutes. This is exactly the kind of project I like to do for stylish, sustainable living. <sighs> so nice. Okay, we are here on day two of this master bedroom makeover. You can see a peak of the blue color over my shoulder as well as in the corner of the bed. And I'm loving the way this is looking. So I plan to do kind of like a DIY hand painted wallpaper sort of design in here. I did want to get a peel and stick renter friendly wallpaper, but it was just too outside of my budget and I decided I'm gonna paint it myself. For this room, I do want to use kind of a circular dopper as a like a polka dot pattern on the walls, which will hopefully pull from some of the shapes that you see in the throw pillows that I have and in the headboard. I'm gonna do it in a coordinating sort of lighter blue color so that the accent wall isn't so much as an accent wall, but kind of part of this whole color story in here. I did do a full video on how to hand paint your own wallpaper designs and decal, which I'll link to in the description below. So for this video, I'll just kind of show a couple quick techniques and then the full result in the reveal. So when I finished painting these circles the other day, I really liked it and I slept on it for a few days and there was just like something about it that I didn't like. I think it felt a little too much like a nursery. Like the circles are a little too perfect. They're a little too spaced apart. So I'm going to go back and add some more and make the pattern a little bit more busy. And hopefully that gives it a little bit more modern feel and less of like a little child's bedroom. We'll see. Otherwise I might be painting the whole wall blue. Huh. I am so happy that I went back over the wallpaper kind of pattern walls. It looks so much better now that I've filled it in. This is definitely way more what I was thinking and looks a lot less like a nursery. Loki, what do you think of the wallpaper? Oh, it's not wallpaper, pretty tricky, huh? I'm also going to be assembling our new end tables today. I bought them from Made.com, which is a Berlin-based home decor company. They focus on small brands and upstarts with really cool modern designs. This is the first order that I placed with them. It did take kind of a long time to arrive, like nearly four months since I ordered these in August. So I'm so excited to assemble them and get them in our bedroom. Legit, this was like the easiest assembly ever. Like this is done. I'm done. Ah, so easy. This is so easy. Since it's the last day, it is time for all of my finishing touches. I'm gonna bring in those end tables that I assembled. I also need to put out the rug. I obviously brought this chair in already so I could film this, but I'll show you on camera what I did with this chair. I've gotta hang up the wall decor. I've gotta put all my throw pillows and blankets and kind of soft touches onto the bed. And yeah, and then there's some touches for the end tables, get it all looking sparkly and shiny for this big reveal. I went with a nice big area rug that would really fill the whole space in the corner in front of our closets here. Our landlord had this art deco chair and I asked him if we could reupholster it and he didn't love that idea. So I needed to find another way to hide it because the fabric is pretty dull, it's not in super amazing shape and it just is like a little too dark and gray for what I want in this corner. So I decided to cover it with just a throw that I inherited from a friend. She gave this to me when she was moving. And so I'm just kind of like folding it and trying to fit it directly over the chair so that you can't even see the coverings below it, but it's a totally renter friendly way to just cover a chair you don't like. And then I'm gonna put a nice little accent puffy pillow on there in some coordinating colors to really bring this all together. I'm also mounting some plug-in wall sconces. Having the plug-in wall sconces is a great way to give your bedroom a kind of high-end hotel feel without having to put in new electrical boxes. And we're hiding the cores right behind the headboard of our bed, so you can't even tell. For mounting the wall sconces, all I did was measure the brackets, leveled it out, drew in a little pencil, and then drilled a hole in the wall with the screws and the drywall mounts. 
These were actually really easy to assemble, so props to West Wing for choosing a great design. I have a lot of random pillowcases from other rooms that I've been moving around, and so I think I've chosen a good mixture of them here, and none of them are matching, but they all kind of coordinate. And I kind of wanted to just throw all of the pillows in the middle of the bed so that they don't need to be matching. I also think this pile of pillows in the middle of the bed works great because both sides of the beds are totally mirrored with the sconces and the end tables. Are you ready to see this new moody bohemian master bedroom? Well, here it is. excited to reveal this room to you. I am absolutely in love with the way that this turned out. It is such a transformation from kind of a plain white minimalist hotel room vibe to a beautiful moody bedroom. I think the big blue accent wall behind our bed is the perfect color, perfect shade. It's really calming and really centers and grounds the room. Then you have this lighter blue color with the textured wallpaper design that I did, and it's also really energizing. So you've got this perfect balance between calming for the nighttime and energizing for the morning. And oh my god, this macrame wall hanging is exactly as beautiful as I expected it to be above this bed. It's from an artist in the Netherlands. I'll link to it in the description so if you guys are interested in buying it. Her pieces are a little bit pricey, but they are completely worth it. They're absolutely stunning, and her craftsmanship is amazing. It is a perfect, simple, boho decor to go with this bedroom. And of course, you see my DIY fleece blanket upcycle. That was in a previous video for my cats. They have been snuggling on this non-stop since we have put this on our bed every night. They're just sitting there waiting for us to get into bed on top of the blanket. They love it. I love these bedside tables from Made because they're tall but small. They're perfect for this bedroom because the colors work really well with the blues that I chose. It's so nice having this West Wing rug in here. It softens the room and really just grounds the space here and just makes it much more pleasant and enjoyable to get ready in the morning. I hope you love this master bedroom makeover as much as I do. Please comment below on what your favorite feature of the room is, whether it's the macrame, the sconces, the wall design. I'm so curious to hear what everyone thinks. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to sharing more of my room makeovers with you in the future.